Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mastering Options Trading. I brought an important video. You will not find this anywhere on the internet. This is something that is that I have picked up through observation of several years of data, right? So how did I make a accurate prediction today, right? So if you see around 12, 8 p.m., I put a message saying that stay cautious if you're on bearish side, have stop loss in place, reversal possible in second half. Right? And it was 21, 9.55 at that time. Not only this, and I put on the WhatsApp group as well, right? Uh, first of all, it opened uh, gap down today, right? And it could it could not if it could not hold twenty one nine hundred. That means we'll go bearish. But if it is holding twenty one nine hundred, then I will explain an unorthodox pattern, right? That I will explain in tomorrow's video, right? What it is like? It is called three similar lows, right? That is the name I have given to that. Uh, uncommon pattern i'll explain that tomorrow so it's the same message i put in whatsapp as well here i've written that if in next five minutes 21 9 30 is not broken then very likely higher probability that market will go up and the market price was 21 944 i will explain the concept so what is the concept here is if you see first around this candle market was falling continuously right and, and then it should have broken yesterday's low at least or yesterday's low and previous days that is wednesday's low as well it did not break both the lows first here it made a red candle then a doji and then a green candle this is not an exact morning star pattern but at least it's a bullish pattern right whenever you see these three candles in in, in combination right it should make it should break the high of any of these three candles and then it will go up despite making this bullish can a bullish pattern what happened it immediately made a negative candle but this negative candle could not even break the low of this doji. The low, if you see here, is 21.938, right? And here the low is 21.940. So that gave the first sign that, okay, its market is strong. First, it made bullish pattern. Then second, it is trying to negate that bullish pattern, but still not able to go below the low of this doji also. Forget about the low of this bearish candle. Next, what happened? It did form a doji again. Here also, it made a new low, but it could not sustain below 21 930 right 934 it made a low of 21 931 but quickly went back up so i was sure around this time itself that market is not willing to go down otherwise previous days low is just around 14 or 15 points uh, below this current level right it's still not breaking for more than one hour so that was the first indication so what is the important concept i'm trying to explain you is whenever you see a consolidation of candles right more than four candles on 15 minutes chart you can apply the same to daily time frame chart as well when more than three or four candles if market is not breaking on any index stock 15 minutes daily chart anywhere then it will have very high probability that it's a reversal sign it's not a fall consolidation and fall if it were to fall then it has to fall faster if it is not even able to break the same day's low or even just the previous day's low which was very near that means it is indicating that bears are losing strength they do not have any strength more to beat down the in, in, index or nifty in this case right so that was clear sign and that's why around 12 8 pm i put a post saying that uh, if you are on bearish side you should definitely trail your stop loss and reversal is possible and by 12 25 i, I told that if 21 9 30 is not broken which it did not break and then if you see it made a high of 20 22 52 so close to 108 109 points up move from here right and not only that um, i will explain in tomorrow's video what is this the similar lows pattern because we had a low of 905 uh, 917 and 931 so three are very very close to each other what would happen next i'll explain in tomorrow's video but before that if you see this is at some triangle pattern that i have drawn here it just gave a breakout retest this this is the trend line and it has given a breakout retest and it closed at 22,026. So this is also indicating some bullishness, right? And not only that, uh, if you see currently, Gift Nifty, I think, is is around 22 points down, but still, it was a lot more down a, a while ago, right? It it went till this level, but still, I would say that um, looking only at the pattern that has formed here on Nifty, very likely Monday we can uh, expect an up move. I think the minimum target, first target will be the gap that is pending to be filled today. So that will get filled around 21,150. And if it sustains, then we will see at least till this levels. 
not only that it is also forming a w pattern but we will not talk about it unless the neckline which comes around 20 to 205 is not broken uh, till then we will not uh, assume more bullishness but at least it should go up to 21 150 kind of levels on monday that is the expectation and beyond that also it is possible the only thing that needs to be taken care is the support line this should act as your stop loss so somewhere around 21 980 should be your first stop loss for conservative people and you can follow this uh, lower trend line for the next support i hope this video is helpful wherein you get to know how many candles you should see if it is too many candles at same level and not breaking on the lower side then it is acting as a strong support and if it is on the higher side then it is acting as a strong resistance so always watch out for such things right i hope this video is helpful if it is please do like share and subscribe and if you have any queries you can drop in comment section and i will be happy to answer them thank you all have a good day